Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Alright, first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers in peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here, shout on to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And um what I want to get into today, you know, respond, you know, to the lesson did by the elder Manatha Zakba, you know, out of South Carolina. You know, the channel GMS Bible Teacher SC7. You know, subscribe if you're not subscribed, you know, and be edified. Now, you know, you have this um clip of pretty much of this woman, you know, pretty much denouncing feminism. You know, and pretty much, you know, humbling down, you know, and understanding that she needs a man. Now, this isn't a lesson, you know, of a uh, ha ha, you know, a laughing told you so, you know, to the women. But now what we're seeing is things are getting back in order. You see, because for the longest, all right, this, this society ruled by Esau Edom has pretty much, you know, been in a downward spiral. Everyone's confused. No one, no one knows what their role is, the purpose of a man, the purpose of a woman, you know, the duties of a wife, the duties of a husband. All those things have been pretty much destroyed by the ideologies, you know, of Esau Edom. All right. Which, if you can understand it, is the serpent, you know, and he's caused mass confusion in the earth. And what's happening is it's being confounded. All right. The wisdom of this world is being confounded. As the scriptures speak about and what we're seeing is things are, are getting back in order man and chaos is going to speed those things up of things getting back in order man and this is speaking amongst our people all right so i'm gonna let the video play um get some some precepts and lord will you brothers and you few sisters are edified hey guys like i'm so sorry right now because i'm just came to like realization these past few days have been so hard for me because like you know how men say that women have toxic feminism and like you'll get to a certain age and like no one would want to marry you and no one would love you like i feel like i've gotten to that point guys like i was so hung on to this feminism thing and i missed out on marriage and on children you know, like, I'm at a point in my life where, like, I'm so bitter. I'm so jealous of people who have marriages because they are so happy. And the husbands don't even cheat on them. And, like, men are just the best. You know, like, right now is when I'm realizing, like, I can't do without them. And right now I'm like, I don't care, like, if you are rich or poor, tall, dark, handsome, ugly. I don't care, by the way. As long as you're a man and you're breathing, like that's the only qualification I need because I'm just so desperate for a husband. Like there's a lot of pressure around me. So if you can deal me and propose, I swear I'll be here and I'll, I'll marry you immediately. I'll wash your clothes, I'll cook for you, I'll have your children and I'll be obedient and a submissive wife because that is what you guys want. I'm no longer a feminist, guys. I'm sorry. All right, shall And now um, you see it, man. Now, what's happening is, all right, the lie of Esau Edom, you know, the serpent is being destroyed. You know, going back to the garden because we're going to get into it. This is what Esau Edom, all right, has presented to women today through feminism. The same thing that the serpent brought to 
all right, Eve and the garden, all right? We're going to link it all together. But the main thing I want to focus on now is when you go to 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, because Esau Edom has created a, a, a kingdom of deception. You know, the scriptures say when he was loosed, all right, from his prison, how he would go through the four quarters of the earth deceiving the nations. And this is what this man has done. And one of the main deceptions that he has put out there was that women, you know, were equal to men or above. Uh, women don't need men, you know, uh, uh, women, all right, can pretty much, you know, be promiscuous and then settle down when they get ready, you know, that they have access to marriage. And, you know, um, uh, uh, it's all about, you know, the men, you know, catering to them, you know, and there was a deception. There was a lie. And see, it put it it, it 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 pretty much put the women in the trick bag to where you know they get to do what they want for certain periods of their life, mainly their twenties. You know they get to wild out. You know their hot girl summer energy. They get to do all these things, but then their nature kicks in of wanting to be a wife, of wanting to be a mother. You know of wanting a husband. Their nature kicks in because one thing about it. Esau either can tell you anything, but you cannot escape your nature. All right, you cannot escape what your nature, what your purpose is, what you was created to do. You can't escape it. Eventually, it's gonna kick in. And see, when it kick in, you've led, you have lived by the philosophy of the serpent. So by the time that nature kick in, you know, and you want, all right, that family structure, you want that stability of a husband and these different things. You want those things, but you've been ruined. You, you have made yourself useless and now you can't undo it you know for the most part a lot of the it, it can't be undone so what's happening is reading it again second Corinthians 10 and 4 it says for the weapons of our warfare are not corner but mighty through the most high to the pulling down strongholds and see now feminism doesn't make sense you know when it first came out you know it was the best thing going you know women was you know getting these good jobs and you know, women was uh, out on the scene becoming politicians and mayors and, 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 and you know, all, you know, just all up in to the, uh, you know, just out and about, you know, just on the scene, you know, being praised, getting awards and, you know, just on the scene. So it, it was great. You know, the woman like she was winning, the mighty woman, you know, the super woman, the wonder woman, you know, but then it took you out of your nature. It removed you from your nature. That's why you have masculine women now. Because they was removed, all right, from, all right, their purpose, man. You see? But see, now the Lord is putting things back together, all right? And it says, now when you go to that word, um, stronghold in the Greek. Strong's G, 3794, Ahurama. Ahurama. Ahurama, all right? And so I'm going to jump to definition A. It says of the arguments and reasonings by which a disputant endeavors to fortify his opinion and defend it against his opponent. You see? So that whole feminist, you know, argument, you know, about women this and women that and women this and, you know, all these things that that feminist doctrine has been torn down, you know? And if you're still trying to be a feminist in these times, you're going to lose, man. You're about to lose, lose. You know? As an Israelite woman of the tribes, you know, being a feminist is the worst thing you can be in this time frame, man. Having that mind frame, you know? But see, that argument about being a feminist, it doesn't make sense anymore. Because you're just dying alone. You know? You just here. You pretty much just here. You're you're away from your purpose. And we're gonna get it. Because she said, you know, her friends, you know, she see her friends happy. You know, she's jealous when she see, you know, married couples, you know. She's and, and because why, man? Because they're in their purpose. One thing about it, all right, and it's and it's bigger than sex. Let me put that out there. It's bigger than sex. It is way bigger than sex, man. Sex is just an incentive that goes with marriage, all right? To uh, provoke us both men and women to be what fruitful and multiply, 
And that also brings that bond of men and women through sex, man. The husband and wife, it, it, it keeps that bond, all right, on point, all right, through sex, man. You know, that's why the, even the Apostle Paul told, you know, when he wrote that letter to the Corinthians, he was telling those those teachers, those leaders of the church, man, make sure you tell those men to be, you know, doing their due benevolence. You know, they can't forsake, you know, the, the, hood, the duty of a husband, all right, their due benevolence, you know. So it's, it's bigger than sex, man. That's just a part of it, man. It was more about duty and responsibility, man. Now, when you go to um, Psalms 113 and 9, it says, He maketh the barren woman to keep house, all right, and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So a woman's joy came from a purpose, a man's joy came from, from his purpose, all right. Serving, and we talking about Israelite men and women. The Israelite man, his purpose came from what? Let's get um, Ecclesiastes. All right, twelve. All right, this Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High, and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So our purpose came from serving Yahweh by Shema Al-Shah as an Israelite man. You know, that was our joy. And the joy of a woman was to keep the house of that Israelite man while he's serving Yahweh by Shema Al-Shah. That was our purpose. You see? But we was it was ripped from us, all right, through all these crazy ideologies. That's why you got Jake that's all in street culture. You know, he's all about getting cl stout, uh, clout and status in this world. You know, forsaking your how about Shima Al Shai, chasing women, chasing this, and chasing the bag, and chasing this, and doing this, and doing that all over the place. All right, his purpose has been, all right, uh, distorted. And then the woman, she now she wants to be equal to the man. She thinks she can rule over the man. She thinks she don't need a man. And all these different things. And now she's removed from her purpose. And what did it end to? Because she said. She said I'm bitter. <laughs> you see. I'm, I'm you know. I'm jealous of, 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 of married couples. You see. The serpent. He brought that doctrine in. And it seemed good for the moment. You know. You think she was crying. When she was on those cruises. And you know. Going on little flings. And traveling here. And not having no man. You know. She can pretty much do what she wants. And. You know, that hookup coach, you think she was uh, 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 crying then? No, she was enjoying it, you know? But then what happened? That nature kicked in. The, the, the fleens got old that, you know, there wasn't no fulfillment in it. You get fulfillment within your purpose, man, you know? So, as we see, the duty of man was to serve your house by Shema Shai, and he made the woman to be a, a keeper of the house, and a joyful mother of children, man. And that's why, you know, I like to go see my grandma sometime because you see, you know, she has a very uh a meek, you know, spirit. And her joy, you know, like I say, it comes from seeing like her grandchildren, her children, like it's her joy to see them eat, to see them taken care of, to make sure, you know, they okay. You know, she gets a joy from that. You know, her sister down, her little sister down here too. And I went over there yesterday, man. It's just a different vibration just being around, you know, that generation of women. How, you know, they fulfillment pretty much came from within their purpose, man. And seeing, you know, the children like the little babies. You know, she got great grandkids now, you know. But just to see how, you know, she gets a joy out of nursing children and, you know, seeing them grow, you know. Because what? That's, that, that was, that was their purpose, man. And that all are attributes of nation building. That's what we coming into a time to nation build. Right now we're spiritually nation building with this wisdom. But then it's gonna come a time where we're gonna physically nation build, man. And it's gonna it's gonna be women that have humbled down and understand their purpose, man, just as we understand our purpose, man. Now, let's go back to the to the beginning. All right. Let's go back to the origin <laughs> of this whole fiasco. <laughs> Now, when you go to um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, all right, verse 3. Well, uh, no, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 23. It said, For the Most High created man to be immortal, 
and made him to be an image of his own eternity and made him to be an image of his own eternity see most high created us and gave us a way all right for us to be immortal going back to adam he was given a particular way a particular wisdom a particular standard to be to be immortal you see for the most high created man to be immortal which is adam all right and made him to be an image of his own eternity and he did that by what breathing their life into him which is this wisdom knowledge and understanding the law statutes and commandments verse 24 nevertheless through envy of the devil came death into the world and they that hold hold on his side do find it yeah through the serpent bringing it all right feeding eve that garbage all right and it came back to adam and he implemented then death was brought into the world all right and anyone that takes hold to that doctrine they gonna find the same results that's why these women are finding the same results bitter bitter and dying alone angry frustrated all right all in the restaurant looking at married couples upside the head you know the waitress give you you know you you at the restaurant your wife and the waitress you know she see y'all got this bun y'all not arguing y'all got you know y'all got a good vibe so now she got an attitude now you know like, god damn you know but why because they took hold of that way of the serpent and it's ending up horrible for them man all right so what 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 is immortality man all right when you go to wisdom solomon 1 and 15 what does it say for righteousness you see that is immortal there's a right way you know the reason why you know the the, the most i made it where men are over the woman all right because the most high created man with certain skill set to be to be able to deal and make certain decisions that will put the household in a better situation all right and the men having multiple women the most high said be fruitful and multiply one man can get multiple women pregnant all right <laughs> in in the day you see which will what grow the nation build that house first i'll build that house because see family is very important man family is very important man that's why that's like that's one of the things i look forward to is seeing the families of israel get back in order man you know that's very vital man and when esau brought confusion when he had the he when he created this tension between the man and woman and you know they arguing they having a power struggle you know amongst each other though you know arguing about who's in charge and you know what role is what once he confused it that's when the nation went to, to shits man especially in the 60s when that feminist movement hit and and the and woman pretty much abandoned her role you know and you had jake i say jake they abandoned their role when you got when Jake got into the gangster rap, which that's not the majority, all right. But you had you know niggas got into that gangster spirit, that thug culture and shit, you know. And Jake pretty much abandoned you know a lot of their roles, you know, for the most part. But see, the women was the majority of doing it, all right. The women completely abandoned being uh, uh, wives and mothers and focus on what careers, man, you know, or just being promiscuous and living you know just living on pleasure you see but when you go into wisdom psalm 8 and 17 it says now when i consider these things in myself and ponder them in my heart how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality and allied means joined too so being joined unto wisdom is immortality there was a particular way all right it was a particular order you know and the, and, and, and the serpent he came and brought another way that was outside of their wisdom their breath of life and it led to death but see coming back to righteousness that's going to lead to immortality man you know because it's all a cycle it's all a cycle man like um a, a man all right has women those women, those the man serves the Lord. The Lord blesses the man with substance. All right, 
He blesses the man with substance. And then the man will have, all right, children, multiple children to what? To expand on the substance that he has, all right? Because if a man was a conqueror, and he will have multiple women. Well, the sons he had, those sons will be green, will be groomed to rule the new lands that he's conquering. And then the the the, the women, all right, those daughters would be uh, uh, given to men to be allies to his house, all right. So the man will have allies, man, and that's how it was in the ancient world. But in the kingdom, like we're gonna be, because it might be something that, that a resource i have you know in my kingdom that this brother don't have in his kingdom or vice versa you see and we will make trade deals and we will lock trade deals in by marrying you know my daughters to his sons or vice versa you know and that's how it's gonna be and it's gonna be in more it's gonna be a righteous way because all the women going to know, they're going to grow up seeing their, their mothers and aunties and big sisters in order. So all they're going to know is order. You see? They're going to be married off. All right? To to to, to the, uh, a prince. <laughs> you see? And they're going to grow into a house. He's going to become a king. He's going to have a house. And he gonna keep, it's going to keep going and going and going, man. You know? It's going to be an immortal way. See, this, this way is immortal. The way of the serpent, not immortal woman growing up, you know, going to this, to Esau school, being lied to for all these years. Go get these degrees, you know, go die out, you know, through her 20s, you know, early 30s, you know, then become bitter. Try to settle down and get a man, but can't keep one because she's so traumatized and through. And then eventually she's done with man. Then, you know, you, she might go, you know, <laughs> be a carpet muncher. You know, all these, they're just madness, man. That's not an immortal way. That's death. You see? But there's an immortal way of existing in the earth. And it was given to Adam, which was the uh, a progenitor of the sons of God, which uh, became Israelites, which we are the descendants of those people today. And we're getting back to that, that, that immortal way. It's way bigger than sex. It's way bigger than sex. All right, that was just an incentive. There's a particular way we supposed to carry ourselves, and the Lord set things up in particular ways that we supposed to live by. All right, and we supposed to conduct ourselves as, as, as people on the earth, and also as family. There's a certain family structure that the Lord set up, man. All right, and we getting back to that, and that mind frame. You see the the the, the um. That feminist mind frame is being confounded, man. Feminism is being confounded, man. You know? And it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al So, Lord will you, brothers, and you few sisters edified till next time I say Shalom.